iOS 17 has a lot of great features. Many of them are now well known and today we're going to just be focusing on the ones on iMessage. The first thing you will notice is that the apps that used to be here on top of the keyboard are no longer there and instead we have this little plus sign right here. This when you click on it is going to show you your apps. Up here you basically have your favorite apps and then you could click more to see all of your apps and you could go ahead and actually rearrange these apps however you want them. You just click and drag wherever you want it and even from the more you could bring it up to your favorites and adjust it how you want it. One thing that annoyed me a lot about iOS 16 is that you have this dictate thing up here and you also have it down there but now if you click on this and then click on audio once you record an audio first thing we'll see is this awesome animation I really love it and then uh, second thing is that once you send that message to that group or that person it's now here where it's very accessible you just gotta click on it and hold it and then you could go ahead and make a voice message another cool thing that we finally have is that if you play the message uh, to listen to a voice memo you could go ahead and exit the messaging app and it'll still keep on playing uh, you could also go ahead and just lock your screen let's see let's play this and then you lock your screen and it'll keep on playing and it's out here you could even go five seconds back five seconds forward uh, play and pause it, that, I think that's awesome another thing that we could see with uh, voice memos if you look closely here uh, you'll see that the message has been transcribed and it's actually very accurate another cool thing that you could do with these voice memos is that if you press and hold the play button now you have the option to play at 1 1.25 1.5 and 2x speeds and just like in iOS 16, you still have the ability to scroll back and forth on the voice memos. Now in iOS 17, if you're in a group message, uh, you'll see an arrow right over here in this corner where it will take you back to where you left off. Now replying to a specific message has been made so much easier. All you have to do is slide to the right and you'll be able to reply to that message. Now finally, when uh, searching for an emoji, there's going to be a done button down here. Let's search for a smile. All right, and then down here, you see the done button, and then you could go back to writing your message. Now when you click on the dictation button down here, you'll see a little icon that says the language you're speaking on, and it will also highlight the words that you're speaking as you are doing so. Now you can make any picture into a sticker, and I'm just going to take a quick picture here to show you and now we'll go back to our messages go to stickers then add it right here and i'm gonna go ahead and add my wave and if it's a live picture it'll keep on waving just like this and then if you want it you could go ahead and click and drag into the message this will keep the sticker as a live photo as well and if you also wanted to send the sticker just as its own message, just click on it and send it. If you click and hold on the stickers, you also have these options here to delete, add effect, or rearrange. And let's go ahead and add some effects. Uh, you have here outline, comic, puffy, and shiny. You know those two-factor authentication messages that you get? Well, now in iOS 17, you have the option to delete those automatically. All you have to do is go to your settings, then passwords. Uh, once you're in here go to password options click on that and then we scroll down to where it says clear up automatically and just make sure that's toggled on and if we go back to messages there's a new app that's called check in uh, let's go ahead and click on that and once you first launch it it's going to explain to you what it is all it is is that it's going to allow you to be able to send a message automatically to your friends or family letting them know that you have arrived at your destination over here it's going to explain to you that it's going to keep up with your progress to make sure that you actually make it to your destination safely in this next page that can actually be edited in settings which i'll show you later uh, you get to choose how much data you share with your uh, other person you could either share limited or go ahead and choose the full data uh, for the limited, you include current location and details about battery and network signals for phone and your Apple Watch. For full, you include all data from the limited plan plus travel and location uh, of your last iPhone or Apple Watch. And when was your last location where your Apple Watch was removed? On this next page, it's just giving you the different criteria in which it will notify that other person. Once you get all set up, uh, one of the quick options that it will give you once you go ahead and launch this app again is to set a timer. 
um, or you could go ahead and just put it so when you reach the destination it will go ahead and alert the person with the timer option it will give you 15 minutes to respond on your own if not it will go ahead and alert the person with the location once you reach your destination it will send a message to the person so on here before you set it up you get the option to be able to change it between full and limited information that you sent to your other person and over here you can see your phone data and also your watch uh, and it's also good to know that this whole thing is end-to-end -end encrypted so not even apple knows the data that you share all right so to be able to change those data messages go to settings then go to messages then scroll down and until you see data click on data and then right here you have the option to share limited or full data another cool thing that you could do for messages is to be able to share your location with a specific person uh, you click on the location app and then go ahead and click on share or you could go ahead and drop a pin as well and share that pin's location instead and lastly this is a pretty cool feature that you could do with widgets if you search up contacts and add it to your home screen just add this one right here and once you're in the home screen you go ahead and press and hold and then just edit the widget once you edit make sure that this is a uh, show button is turned on and once that's turned on uh, you'll be able to just message somebody from right from your home screen so it just kind of opens the messages app but it does it for that specific person and you can also call them please like and subscribe i really appreciate it and thank you for watching until the end until next time